last time on Shadow of War. Now back to the show. The Nazgul have dealings with special orcs. What are they? Uh, they're called the Chosen. Uh, I don't know what they're chosen for. The Chosen? You gotta be kidding me. They're here too? Christ's sake, can I not get away from these bastards? Where's the assassin? Is she waiting around the corner for me? I swear to God, I'm gonna stab her again. Yeah, kind of like that, actually. Well, as much as I really don't want to do more story missions, I kind of have to in order to unlock new areas and the like, so... Yeah, just bear with me a bit today, folks. Today will be just a tad bit tedious. The idea belong to the Witch King. He tracks you. And soon, he will dominate you. Well, I mean, the least the guy can do is take me out to dinner first. Jesus. How's it going, ladies and gentlemen? Don't mind me, just have to get through some story missions today. Hi. I will reclaim this high deer, for I am chosen. I serve the Witch King, just as you shall. Butch the Chosen. Well, for a Chosen, you are incredibly weak. I know about three different Chosen who would very gladly have you for lunch. <laughs> Greetings, boys. How are we all doing today? Don't mind me. Just gonna casually cut your face off as uh, you attempt to reclaim something that I'm apparently supposed to stop you from reclaiming. I gotta be completely honest, I kinda stopped paying attention to the story around the end of Act 1 just because I was more interested in the story of my growing army. I will reclaim this tower for the Witch King, and you will die in its shadow. You're twice as you're twice as powerful as the other person that I just killed recently, and you're a legendary captain, yet you are still a lower level than the grand majority of everybody in my party. I'm pretty sure even Posh is stronger than you. I'm afraid, my boy, that somebody weak like you would only last like maybe a day at the most, and that was the completely wrong person. I just noticed that my health is just a little bit not there. Can you not do that, please? Well, wrong one, uh, but that's okay. Uh, let's try that again. There we go, much better. I think I want a different ride. Daddy, can I have this, please? This thing running is a sight to behold. If you ever saw a Graug charging at you at full speed like this, I'm pretty sure you would need to change your underwear. You cannot stop me! This high deer belongs to the Witch King! You say as you look up to a creature, sure, hi. And so do you, Ranger. Creature over three times your size. I mean, if you all really want to test that, then I'm okay with that. Nom. Oh, you killed my Graug already. Well, that is just rude of you. Can you all just give me a second here? I'll be- I guess not. Oh, nope. Get away from me, please. I'm a little bit busy here. Just need to cut your buddy up. Okay, fine. You know what? If you really are going to be that much of a d uh, hey, Nick. Okay. Uh, <laughs> I guess the other guy is just completely out of the fight as he's just running around with a chicken with his head cut off. With a chicken with its head cut off. Okay, yeah, he's uh, he's physically running around with a beheaded fowl in his midst. That is exactly what I just said. Fuck off. Okay, one down. Now, if you don't mind, please get the fuck out of my life. Thank you. Something calls me. Not all calls should be answered, Talion. You know, I kind of think you should listen to Calabrimbor here, Talion. I mean, you're you're essentially saying I need to go into this deep, dark, possibly haunted woods because something in there is calling to me. Yeah, I'm pretty sure a disembodied voice is completely trustworthy. Also, uh, pardon me, sir. Ah, oh, not you. Have some mercy, Ranger. Well, I I mean, I, I guess that's one way to have mercy. This forest is possessed by death as much as life. The two are bound together. That is common. So remind me why we're here again? Because Talion heard a voice calling to him. Talion, have you ever thought, maybe, that perhaps you are simply just insane? You know, after all the shit you've been through, do you think maybe that, may, that, that, that might have crossed your mind? Maybe you're just going fucking nuts. No? Just me? Okay then, well, that's just, you know, onward through the wonderland of death and destruction we go then. She's drawing us in. I'm pretty sure that I could just leave right now and nothing will happen at all. Nothing would call me back here except the fact that the quest is telling me to go this way. So really, in a way, I'm not being drawn in, I'm being told to go this way if I want to have fun again. So if you'll excuse me, I'm just gonna blow this poor orc's head up for no other reason than I just feel like it. Seriously, I'm not really sure why we're doing this. So I'm now walking toward the great Deku Tree's evil twin sister. Alright then, this is going to go wonderfully, I'm sure. Oh. 
change it and unlike this fleshling, for you die and die, not lifeless, but deathless. I mean, you certainly got the first part right. Throw down your sword and kneel. I will not kneel to this thing. Kneel before Zos! Well, okay, this escalated quickly. Exactly why did we come into this forest again and oh? Okay, well, that was easy. Oh. Oh, of course there's more of them. All right, excuse me, gotta go kill a tree, Grog. Oh, fuck. No, please. Okay. Um, d you know, to be fair, I did not really expect to be fighting a tree, Grog, when I came into this forest. Oh, God. Gotta be honest, that took me by surprise. Oh. Oh, is that all? Can you tell it to stop? Does not reason with the wind. <laughs> you basically just called her an airhead. All right then. <laughs> Fucking, that's a lot of nothing. I don't want to be a part of. I really don't know what I just said there, but I was kind of panicking. Give me a break. And now we can add Tree Drake to the list of things that I did not expect to fight today. Well, it seems this Karnin isn't as powerful. <laughs> You were saying, Talion? Great spirit of Khan. See so cry and clamor. <laughs> I love the way she said that. See so cry and clamor. Ringmaker, your forge sings. Macrack across the land. Fire woken by a cold metal ring. Go now, your Balrog waits. Oh, yeah, sure, no problem. I'll just go digging too deeply and too greedily, fight myself a Balrog, have myself a nice little jaunt with him, and then just be right back before dinner. Uh, okay, yeah, sure, mm-hmm, right. Right, you take out the Overlord, the fort's yours. So, who do you fancy bringing along besides me? Oh, I have a few ideas. Hello, Lorm. Hello, Bruce. And hello, Snafu. Let's get to work, shall we? My black speech is a little rusty. Actually, I don't know a single word. Language is a pain in the ass, but <laughs> to hazard a guess, he said we're all gonna die horribly. Yeah, my kind of black. Well, I will handle the Overlord. You focus on the defenders. Define focus. Fire! 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 You know, if you don't want to get your asses burned off, maybe you shouldn't climb directly into the streams of lava. Just, just, just a suggestion. Oh, oh, Snafu, it's like you never left me. Oh, Lorne, what the hell happened to you, buddy? Are you all right? Get back up, dude. I'm not losing you. Jesus Christ, Snafu. I mean, I think he's taking on after me, just punching people in the face repeatedly. What? <laughs> okay, uh... <laughs> I kind of want to just watch my boys duke it out here. I love watching them. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> I don't know who you are, but you sent that one guy flying. If I could, if I could promote you, I would. Just know that you have my good graces, sir. Okay, Lorm, uh, Lorm, dude, I know that was you. Could you please hold off on the freaking explosive shots? We don't need them right now. I know you would really like using them, but I need you to just have a little bit of restraint, buddy, lest you blow my entire army halfway to Kingdom Come. Now, this is the kind of thing that- Oh, well, thank you very much, Snafu. That was very kind of you. Lorm, that wasn't. Seriously, take a break with the freaking explosive shots when my own people are standing about five feet in front of you. <laughs> Fuck! Oh, okay. Oh, well, thank you very much, Lorm. <laughs> You missed one, but that's okay. I got him. Exactly how long does it take to capture a single one of these points? This is getting just a little bit of a deek -de deek Oh. Oh, I see. Okay, that's that's me being dumb. Rip a gear this lot has. Maybe I'll pick up a sword for myself. I could use a new toothpick. <laughs> Honestly, dude, I think you could just pick their spines out and it would serve you just as well. Snafu- oh, I thought you were down, Snafu. Nope, you're fine. You're- uh, you're fine. You're up and kicking. You're already going back in. You want some more. Jesus Christ. I am glad I recruited you. 
Uh, Lorm, I'm gonna keep an eye on you, buddy. You, you kinda went down a little early in the fight. I'm worried about you. And you're a little bit too gun-ho with those explosive shots of yours, so... It's not that I don't trust you, Lorm. It's that I may just care a little bit too much. This point is secure, my lord. The enemy lacks our talent for trickery. Ah, Ratak, my boy, you make me proud. Uh, uh, I fancy this fort capturing business. <laughs> and once this one's yours, you'll need a new overlord. I'd like to throw my hat in that ring. First, before I go in there, Ratak, my boy, I am so glad I placed you in here. We probably just saved me a very painful and very, very, very tedious boss fight, and you are just rocking it out over there. You are very happy with yourself. Hey, you know what? You deserve it, buddy. This fault belongs to the Bright Lord now! Man, a few words, huh? Can't hear anything in this. <laughs> Uh, what? <laughs> I thought I recognized that voice. Are you serious? Right back. So much to catch up on. Where do I start? How about your death? What? You mean getting hit by the hammer? There's a headache at most. <laughs> when you want to kill a neuro, you gotta take the head clean off. Does the job every time. Well, most of the time, I think. Oh, I'm quite sure it's all the time. How did you end up here? Well, I was captured by some slavers, actually. They weren't all slavers. Two were cannibals, one was a necromancer. Fun bunch. They captured this Olog. Oh, he was in rough shape. We were cage mates until I sprung us out of there. Olog jumps out, arms go a-flying, and then here we are, the best of friends. Muronam Kirinu Rachanuk. Oh, right. I should tell him about the fourth thing. Thank you for that. It's kind of a long story. Ranger killed the old overlord, now it's ours. Ranger? Oh, yeah, I named him after you! I'm on it. Anybody else feel like we missed a much more interesting game just before this one? I wanna play as Rat Pack, goddammit, I wanna play through that! You know, that, that, that ended up becoming a lot more... less bloody than I expected. I did not at all expect Rat Pack to show up. That was pretty damn funny, I, I gotta give you credit there. It's down to three, honestly. Lorm, Snafu, or Ratak. Oh, man. Oh, wait, you're Snafu. Sorry, you're, you're Nakra. Yeah. Ratak has definitely proven himself to be the more all-around better fighter. But Snafu is just such, like, he is pretty much our mascot. And, you know, he body slams pretty much everybody. Lorm is a bit too trigger-happy with those explosive arrows of his. But, I mean, they, they definitely get the job done. Ah, uh, who to do it to? Who to give it to? You know, honestly, Ratak, your time will come, buddy. But I think Snafu is just a bit too near and dear to me and my audience's hearts. So, Snafu, consider this your day in the sun, my boy. All hail, Overlord Snafu. That is not at all a name that I thought I'd be saying. Oh, hey, Lorm got promoted to his war chief. That's freaking cool. Well, I mean, you got a great singing voice there, guys, but, uh, you're kind of praising the wrong person there. But it's okay, it's your first day in my army, I'll, I'll let it slide. This time. Ah, there we go. Got some more regions unlocked, and we have some more things for us to do. Alright, ladies and gentlemen, on that particular note, I think that's a good point to stop the episode. The thing didn't happen yet, but I'm pretty sure it will next episode. Um... Either way, hope you enjoyed this one. This one was a little bit on the eh side for me, at least recording-wise. I don't know, maybe I'll, be, maybe I'll be able to make this better in editing, but eh, for me, here, now, in recording, this episode was just kind of meh. It was mainly because I had to do some quests that I really didn't care about to lead up to one that I actually did care about, and Rat and Ratbag came back. I almost I almost called him Rattok. I mean, Rattok also came back, but I already had him in the fort, and it, you know what I mean. Anyway, so... It was fun to see Ratbag again. That was actually pretty funny. <laughs> that whole exchange between Ranger, Bruise, and Ratbag was... I, I just wanted to sit and listen to that, honestly. I, I you know, Like I said, I want to play as Ratbag or Bruise. I want an expansion where we play as one of those two. They're fucking awesome. 
But with that said, I do hope you all enjoyed the video. If you did, then don't forget to leave a like and a comment down below. As usual, the next YouTuber recommendation will be on the end card. And as always, y'all have a lovely evening and I will see you next time. Our conquest begins and heads will pop, heads will roll, laughs shall be had, and more heads will roll. I don't know where the fuck I'm going with this. Honestly, see you later, guys. <laughs> Hey, thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this, then do please share this around with a friend or two. It helps the channel much more than you'd think. If you want to stick around, then be sure to subscribe, as well as follow me on Twitter to stay up to date with me, since YouTube's notification system is a bit crap. And if you're feeling generous, then do please stop on my Patreon page. Thank you once again, and as always, y'all have a lovely evening, and I'll see you next time.